So here we have the Nissan Pulsar on a 65 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some of the controls on the inside of it from there. From the outside though, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. We're going to start off inside the boot area first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further again. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some of the controls as I mentioned on the inside from there. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, first of all, we have the rev counter and cooling temperature gauge. On the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the center, you can see the total miles for the car. They are 51,833. Above that, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. You can change that information by using buttons uh, on the steering wheel for various different menus, as you can see. If we back out to the steering wheel, the button I was using a second ago is just here. We have our stereo controls over that side as well. We have cruise control, speed limiter, and phone controls on the right-hand side. And then over in the center is where you would pair up your phone in order that you can use it. You can also see we have satellite navigation there accessed via these buttons just here. Your phone, just hit connect, and then pair new device and follow the instructions on screen. When it comes to the radio, we have DAB, FM, and AM. We have a CD player. We have auxiliary input and Bluetooth audio as well. And on top of all of that, we have a full color reversing camera with guidelines that show you what direction the car is headed in in relation to the image that's being shown on the screen. Below that, we then have dual zone climate control. You can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. Uh, when you're happy with those settings, that's your air conditioning off. Back on again or hit auto. The car will now maintain the temperatures that you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed for you. You can override that manually. You'll see auto has now gone off. We have some storage, the start and stop button for your engine, and then the gear lever for the six-speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.